Chromiak for McGowan. Up along the left wing side, Dubois coming in with Hemstrom, two on one. Dubois, wait, shoots, scores! Jax Dubois faked the pass, put it upstairs for his 23rd goal of the season, and the Frontenacs open the scoring. Yeah, the former Peterborough Pete uh, using his man as a, as a decoy to his right and beating goaltender Nick Suzicha here at six minutes and 20 seconds of the opening period. Dubois, of course, coming over from the Peets to add a little uh, add a little grit, a little size to this Kingston lineup at 6'4", uh, and about 2.05 or so. You see him take the pass off his skate right there. Used Hemstra as a bit of a, a decoy. And Anderson. Frontenax will scoop it up and start back out. Schmidt. Ludwinski has speed through center ice. Ludwinski trying to break his way in with a chance. He scores! Right off the rush, Paul Ludwinski goes upstairs. He joins the 20-goal club this season. Power play goal, 2-0 front next. Yeah, the Chicago Blackhawks uh, probably love to see that. As he, he, of course, is a second-round draft pick of the Hawks. Is Ludwinski he takes the pass, goes over the line, cuts to his left. Maybe uh, next there's it a little deep and a little sort of to his right in the net, and Ludwinski able to find that. Had to slow up at the blue line. Now Fisher. Fisher has room, drops in the middle, way shot, didn't get much on that, then it's in. Tyson Doucette took the shot, he banked it in off the goaltender, and the Sting score on the power play. Well, when you're having the sort of the, the rough luck around the net the Sting have had, you take the goals whatever way you can get them, and Tyson Doucette right here is able, with Fisher coming over the line, stop to the dot, and you see Doucette right there just bank it off the what appeared to be the right pad of the carry as he went down. So Feeds Ludwinski. But Tagli trying a little drag play out in front of the net. Hem Wainwright breaking back in here. Short-handed with a chance in Picard. Here's Moses here with Brown. Dalen Moses shot. And Scott. hands it off to Soto. Soto wanted to drop it. Frasca's shot stopped by Sir Zicha, but Set. Do set the goal score here for the Sting. Caustic shot stopped and reaching behind to Vicari, able to grab it. Vicari made the stop and then it was airborne. It popped up behind him and he was able to reach back and grab it. Pretty acrobatic play by the goaltender right here as there's the uh, a little bobble there by Doucette. Here's the shot off the stick of Caustic and there's Vicari reaching back, kind of contorting his body there and making the save and keeping it on, on this side of the goal. Hopkins and Frasca looking to break in. Here's Hopkins with a chance, scores! Tyler Hopkins goes upstairs. He has his fifth goal of the season, and the Frontenacs open up a two-goal lead at 3-1. to one. Well, hit the goal post back in the second period. Did Tyler Hopkins this time made no mistake as he rifles one by goaltender Nick Zerzicha. All smiles as the youngster Hopkins with his fifth here at 3.51 to give the Frontenacs a 3-1 lead. Steps in over the line at the dot, just lets a, a shot go and beats goaltender Suzit. Chromiak lifts it up into the zone. Soto trying to catch up to it, and he got a backhand. Soto centers out in front of the net. Suzitcha comes across. Running out of room there. Thibodeau moves it out. Fisher grabs it. Dubois sends it to the empty net, and he scores. Jax Dubois has his second goal of the hockey game. And that looks to finish things off as the Frontenacs take a 4-1 to lead. Yeah, the thing just couldn't keep that puck in. Sunday afternoon, and they'll skate home with a 4-1 win. The Frontenacs officially stamp their ticket to the OHL's Eastern Conference playoffs. When we come back, we'll put a wrap on this one from Sarnia. It's the OHL tonight on your...